Man. So uh, we paused on Kitab uh, Salah because uh, we have a lot to cover and Ramadan is just around the corner. So I found it best for us to go over the Kitab Salah because it's short and we can implement it after, after the class, right? So last week we spoke about uh, a lot. We spoke about different types of fasting. Fasting can be obligatory, like we already know, the month of Ramadan, or if there is any makeup of that you want to do, so that's considered obligatory fasting. And in the obligatory fasting, we think that which is intrinsic in and of itself. Like Ramadan. Oh, it's incidental. What do I mean by that? You are required to fast if certain people come. For example, I swear if this is not enough, right? Then that becomes obligation. But it becomes obligatory because of an incident that just occurred. Great. Or it can be recommended sooner. And in that, we categorize them can be sunnah annually, that your castle once a day. We gave example of what? The Ashura. Right? We gave the example of the Ashura. And it can occur monthly. Right? Every month. It can occur. Let's say about the one day. Three days, right? And then it can occur weekly. The Monday, Thursday. And we say the same fasting can be encouraged, meaning makru. Alright? No, unayid is haram. Unayid is haram. So that's another category. So the makru that we spoke about is either fasting on Friday by itself, meaning I did not pray Friday. Neither that is not afterwards fast. Or Saturday by itself and Sunday by itself and we give those discussions at length. And in that now we are at a chapter where we all know that Ramadan is obligatory. Every time around this time of the year, every year we discuss about the topic of fasting. And Alhamdulillah, we know we all of us know we are familiar with the topic, but reminder. It's always been given us like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He reminds us in the Quran. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Shahr Ramadan is the Quran. Who the Lindas of the United States? Who the wife of God? So my family, the name is Shahra. Right? So this is the verse in the second chapter of the Quran that we are all familiar and we always tend to read it around this time. That Ramadan is the month in which the Quran was revealed, right? The most centric theme in the month of Ramadan is the Quran. The reason right there given to us by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran. And whosoever witnesses this man, let he or she pass, and that's a command. And so we have the hadith of uh, Ibn Umar in the Sahih Muslim and Sahih Al-Bukhari that we all know that Islam is built on five Rukhul Islam or Al-Khams and then we have the first thing in the month of Ramadan Umi Ramadan right? and that's the hadith that we are all familiar with and then we will talk about if Allah Ta'ala grants us Tawfiq how do I know that where we find communities, clashing, find communities, 
having a little bit of refund. Because there's people who want to follow calculation, and there's people who want to follow the actual site. And both of them are correct. But how so? We'll see. So one of the ways that we're going to confirm that the month of Sha'ban has ended, and the month of Ramadan has started, is by completing the 30 days of Sha'ban. That is easy. Okay. Or when an individual sees a new moon. Now this is where now the problem comes. But we have the hadith that Imam Malik narrates it as well, and Nafi, and Ibn Umar, radiallahu anhuma, and Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Dakar Ramadan faqal. So the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when he was talking about this blessed month that we are approaching, and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us tawfiq to witness Ramadan, he says in an explicit statement, La kasumu, and this is an explicit, explicit command, do not fast. Uh-huh. Until you witness when you see the crescent of the moon. Meaning that the moon is going to signify the end of the month of Sha'ban and the beginning of the blessed month of Ahsan. And do not give up fasting until you see it again. That concludes Ramadan and then we start a new month of Sha'ban. Now, do we always have the capability or witness the moon? No. Now that's what we're talking about. You have people who want to have an actual sighting. And you have people who would make some sort of conclusion. So, we understand from the point of view that, okay, we have to do the actual calculation, and that we have the explicit hadith. And we have several hadith. We have the hadith of Ibn Umar, and then we have hadith of Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu. So, say the same thing. Start your fasting by seeing the, the moon for the blessed man, and break your fast by seeing the moon. Okay, we have two explicit prophetic statements that is going to encourage us to exercise this. So, but who is the one who is able to see this? One individual, if we know that he is trustworthy, then is that a sufficient proof for us to say, okay, you know, I was sorry, but Alhamdulillah, the women to the first. So the individual has to be a trustworthy person. And uh, Can we use now an instrument to aid us? Thanks, right? So now there's different examples. Who wants to actually Or there's people who want to see an Right? The objective is one. The objective is one. And the people who follow calculation as well. What is the objective? The objective is for one. So, does calculation give us a setting or does actual Now that's why you have different Even in the Shafi school, we have the option of actually following the number one. He says explicit. Then we have other machines. We have the text. And I'm not going to spend a lot of time on Right? Everyone has unfortunately made up their mind on this. Either I will follow calculation or I will follow the actual cycle. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to unify them. So sighting of the month of Ramadan can be by even now. 
comes down and that is a, a canon or a one that I don't want to open. Because there's difference between the why, there's difference between narration, there's different communication, right? There's different between a testimony or an oath in front of a father, in front of a judge, and then they can. But in that, we have now, I brought Imam al Ramli, that he's a version of an astronomer, whoever believes the astronomer, right? He says, again, he knows Imam al Ramli, he knows that there's people who say, this is my advice to myself and everyone. Always follow your community. Always follow your community. Your community, the community that follows the actual scientific, please follow it. If the community follows the actual scientific, whatever it is, follow your community. So the community divided into multiple is Allah Ta'ala. Right? Follow the, uh, the appointed community. Right? Every community has a point of view. And you have everyone who is, you know, the, who has no authority or anything, but they want to clash with that authority. What was all of them? How that I Now, condition of fasting to be an obligation. Remember when we have a structure of prayer? of the validity of prayer and the condition of the obligation of prayer. Now this is the shuruq of the wuju, of the obligation. Who, individual who is under this category, he or she must fast. One, a Muslim. We have Islam, alhamdulillah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, grant us man and may he subhanahu wa ta'ala Depart us when we're going to meet him in that state. Okay? Islam. So what does that mean? The non Muslim obligation first. And because what? He or she does not fulfill the first rule. What about an apostate? Somebody who has I mean Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us and said, guide all of our imam. An individual who has departed the faith. Right? He or she, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us. They are not obligated, what are you saying? An apostate. Somebody was Muslim and they left. They are not obligated. Okay. So what does that mean? If they are not obligated, meaning that if they come back to Islam, then they are not required to do conversation as a Okay, but but if they came back, why? So let me address the question. That's why you have to be careful. Right? Now, the difference is non Muslim is not. Right? That's right. Except in the chapter of prayer, Sabbath of Sabbath. If they became Muslim today, they are right. But an individual who was Muslim, then they departed. And then they came back. Allah Ta'ala protected them. So, when they departed, they still obligated. Right? That is fasting, prayer, and this. So when they come back, he or she is to become responsible for that. In this person will give the Maria. Yeah, everything. We spoke about that. The second thing is sanity. Somebody has to be after. Somebody has to be safe. So what are we supposed to do? Somebody who is safe. Somebody who is they are not obligated to fast. But we spoke about this even in Salam. Most of these things we spoke about them due for all of us as a reminder. So, this insanity 
can be touched from your heart. Or it can be self insanity. What do I mean by that? Self inflicted insanity. An individual uses a substance and then the substance, then the body fire, 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 we spoke about that in prayer, right? Because this self inflicted, I knew what I was doing. I know the whole situation. And we say, those of us that will last final time at the right time, what? All kids. So, if I just write it through our library, those of us will start lying. Puberty. Right? Somebody has to be balanced. Puberty. And we spoke about that in length. What is the sign that an individual is puberty? For men, for women, Okay, just to, to recap quickly. So, what is the demarcation of puber, puberty? Let's start with men. Age for age. Yes, right? For that. Day, yes, wet trip, for that. For signs, like you said, growing of the year. Boys. And then for women, is what? When they experience their menstruation. So that is going to, right, to signify that the individual. But sometimes it is good to take a break or come. At that time, now we depend on age. So for men, we say that the time is going to be what? I just want to ask you. Okay, for women? Day night. That is different. That's different. Okay. So with a child, a child who is did not reach this birth, then he or she forgives from somebody did not reach or this. Of the things that we mentioned, not children, are they obligated to fast? Are they obligated to fast? But it's good to train our kids, the young. I remember my brother used to. When I was young, I used to fast only for our children. In the morning, we would eat breakfast and I would not eat anything in the afternoon. No snacks, no lunch. I feel like that. So and then the next year will be no breakfast and tea. Then the following year will be no breakfast and tea. Then the other year, when you are about age 70, they will try to tell you go as much as you can. One day, first, yeah, I'm seven. And then age 80, now you're talking okay, about But now for them. So when we time is reaching, you are just like an artist. Yeah. You have to do it. That's how we've been. So, and then once you grow up and you reach reach puberty, it's not an Sadness. Right? So that's 
The fourth thing is ability, khudra. Capable of fasting without hardship. Mm -hmm. You don't have that ability. We'll talk about that. But this is the truth of the Jew of Salah. And it looks exactly identical as the one of Salah that we have. Which I remind you. Okay, now let's look at the condition for a valid fast. Truth of the Fiha, of the fasting that we're going to do. And in this, I will overlap the things that are going to break our fast. I will do both intertwined. Okay? And then we'll pick up later on. Are we doing on time? Is everyone with me? Huh? Okay, that's number one. Now, we're going to discuss that. So, an individual, now we talk about from the standpoint of validity. These are numbers. They fast the entire year. They go into Rwanda. It's the first winter come. And the first day, they fast the whole day. They fast the winter come. They go to Rwanda. Discuss that. Sanity. An individual has to be sick throughout the day. Right? So, so uh, what if insanity takes place for a moment? I'm not talking about no confuse unconsciousness and insanity. Like um, when I'm sleeping, I'm unconscious. When I faint, I'm unconscious. So that's different. I'm talking about sanity, meaning most things. For a moment, again, we know what what the thing is. But what about for a split moment? Uh, an individual lost it. Allah Ta'ala protect us from, for a minute. They lost it. Can be natural or can be And it's during the time of fasting. You know when the time of fasting starts from? It starts from, uh, it starts from God. Fasted. Okay? Nice. So what if that takes place for a moment? What do you guys think? Yes, we talk about validity now. We talk about the validity of fasting. So you think it will be valid? Okay. Okay. Yes, I mean. What was the one of the condition of the validity standard? They lost it. What happened? The fucking value. Lost it. Right? The place is the physical insanity. Two different things. It's crazy. The whole crazy. One way or another. But I'm talking about physical insanity. Okay? Somebody is unconscious. Or is drunk. Allah Ta'ala protects us. No, no, then it's drunk before dawn. They're drunk before dawn. And they're drunk now in the, in the state of fasting, they're drunk. Fasting in the last state. Uh, they are unconscious, meaning they fainted when they went to the fasting. You guys think? Okay, but it's unconscious is going to break the fast. Okay. Don't confuse that we're going to see it. Remember when we talk about the concept of Jihad Right? We spoke about the concept of Jihad 
two things, these two different things. We're going to the Hukum. The Hukum of them and we spoke about this, right? When you just steal water to your It's sinful for stealing the water, but it's a whole body. Yes. One of the matter is somebody that's saying, oh, yeah, I don't know. But we talk about it now. So then the first thing is going to be done. Yes. Number three is the intention. Okay? Intention. And I have to intend to fast. Do I intend in the beginning of the month or do I intend daily? At what time do I intend and what does that intention entail? We have to discuss this now. So, what do you guys think? The intention. Should we make them at the beginning of the month or should we make our intention every day? Okay. Let's start with that. Huh? Both of them are valid. Both of them are valid. But now I'm going to talk about the Shafi. Now, again, we discussed about Shafi. And even from the Shafi, there's two guys one to one. Come on. The, 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 the most of the eight people came within the school. Even within the school, you find several percent of people. But for the sake of study and having that structure, then we're going to discuss what is authority. Right? Bear that in mind. That is a statistical discussing one school which is Shafi. Even within the Shafi school, we're discussing one authoritative Sometimes here and there are but it is not necessary. Yeah. What do you guys think? The intention should it be at the beginning of the month? He says you, you make your intention at the beginning, and if anything occurs, you can then then what is the hook of for some of us make it one that they have the beginning of the month and you can the month of Ramadan. Boom, I'm the Shafi is good, you have to intend. What does that mean? The Shafi is good, if I intend it the first day, if I intend it the second day, and I do not intend the third day, my first day is what? What do I do? But remember, I always need to find that Mamal Bajuri, who is an, one of the Extends one of the essential of the school. No matter what you say, if you find something that is permissible in your school, and another school says it's permissible, then you say, Bahali, Mem, and Jara. You take the opinion that one who should be in school, that is valid, is true. You discuss that in life. You know that. For example, Maliki school says at the beginning of the month sufficient for the entire month, Ahla was So what do I do? Again, we're talking about this is the sharp effect and then there's the practicality that the four should apply. Right? Now practicality, I will make one intention of the entire month. Then I'll make the intention. Like he said, what is the what, what, what is the hand we pray for? But if I miss it, I'm tired. 
Right? But again, just to set the record for the sharpest school, you have to make the intention every single day. The question is, where do they take that from? The hadith that you all, mashallah, that we that we memorize when we were old. Nice. And then we discuss about that. Now there's another thing that arises. When time, before I describe the time, there's something we call as a that I at a time not silent, not the problem to talk about a lot things that I, for example, right, I wanna pray. For that, for example, we pray close to the, our right, our older generation, especially Africa, Asia. Before they pray, you always hear them whispering things. Allah. So that thing, right, is what we call a telephone delay, verbalizing your intention. So the verbalizing of your intention, what is the hukum in the Shafi school? What is the hukum of the Atalafah of the the Shafi school? A lot of times you will see that you have an authority in the school after you have a Shafi But on this specific one, he said, talks about it in Kitab al The Shafi is, they know Kitab al is a very essential book, a book that we have from. Now the Shafi is the two or five passed out. Yeah, four or four. So we're talking about him. What do you think the hukum of a Talafu Bridia is? The Shafi school. We discussed this in the chapter of purification and we discussed this in the chapter of prayer. Sunna, a Talafu Bridia, in Madhali. Mustahab. Mustahab. Sunnah. Mandub is all the same thing. Right? So, if you hear, I know that in East Africa, you know what he's doing. He's verbalizing. The place of the intention is to the That we all know. Okay. But verbalizing, why do we have to verbalize that we is to aid to crystallize that, to crystallize that intention. Now I am firm, I know I am intended that intention, but I can verbalize it. Don't be surprised. What are the conditions of intention? What time should I make my intention? Huh? The, you make the intention the night before. What does the night before mean? You make the night before tomorrow, which is yes. Today is the this is night, so I can make my intention after right after Maghrib. And so, if you're from East Africa, you know when you pray Maghrib, right? Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. And when you do so, now I the Imam says that. Ah. Now you see, remember now why the Imam does that? One, he's doing a telephone to the day. Secondly, he is doing the intention the night before. The night before starts from what? The sunset. Until the dawn. So, the Imam, and then the entire month, the entire city, the entire city, the way. You see somebody walking with the soap, somebody with everyone because the camera right back on that. So everyone is going to follow the imams. So when you see practices, right, you know where they come from. It's not just a practice that just comes back from knowledge. It has its own basis. It has its own understanding. That's why the imam says, we are going to fast tomorrow. Why have the hadith? Or 
of Sayyida Hafsa, Um al Mu'mineen. She says, right, and in Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, whosoever does not form peace or I and then we have a Nasaya Tarjihi Wakfihi. So the Hadith story now. When we say hadith is mawkuf, what do we mean? What do I mean? Huh? It's connected somewhere. Don't you say yet? No. So with the hadith that is from the Prophet what do we call it? Mursa. Right? The hadith from the Tabi we call what? No, I'm sorry. The hadith from the Tabi. So if you want to learn the hadith, I'm going to tell you. وَصَحَحَ الْمَفْرُعًا وَإِبْنِ حِبَّانِ لَا سِيَانَ لِمَنْ لَمْ يَفْرِدُهُ مِنَ اللَّيْنِ نو فَسْرِدُهُ from the night before. What does the night before mean? From sunset until dawn. Great. Any questions so far? Any time during that time. The second thing is that first we say we have to make the intention from the night before. The second thing, the intention has to be. And that's why when we spoke about the categories of obligatory. Some first which are sunnah, some first which are makruh. Why did we mention that? Because now this is a clear thing all here that I have to be specific. Am I passing a sunnah first or am I passing a first or am I passing a matter from the bar? I have to be specific. And the intention has to be decisive. Don't know. Right? If, if I am, I, I, I have shock in my intention, I don't know if I am. I will fast tomorrow as a sunnah, or I will fast tomorrow as a Mecca fast, or I will fast tomorrow because of the understanding the song of Daoud Aisa, the tomorrow and then the day after. I don't know which intention I want to make. What do you say? Yeah. We have to make orientation every day. So the question is now for the Sunnah and the obligatory is going to be different. Okay, I will discuss that in a little. What is the minimum intention? I intend to fast Ramadan. What is Ramadan? I intend to fast Ramadan. That is the minimum. What is the actual complaint? I'm going to fast Ramadan. I intend to fast tomorrow. And had he fast, the, the obligation of Ramadan had his son this year in place with the desire and expectation of that word from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You don't have to say that. But you will see the Shabi is right? You will see the same thing. That's what they after Maghrib, the man tells them. 
the tongue, which language does the tongue speak? The tongue speaks the language of the tongue. So now when you make it double, this is obvious. Right? Can you change? So not obligatory to the So we have to think of something that we talk about from a bar. So for example, the white days. I'll just like give an example. Tomorrow is a white day. Okay? Or tomorrow is a Monday. I wanna I don't know if I wanna fast. So I have a certain point to make that. I don't have to make it the night before. It's better for me to make it the night before. But I prayed for Jim, and came home 8 a.m. In Ramadan, can I return? No. Because why? What is, the, what is the condition? The night before, I'm sorry. Now this is not. Can I make the condition at 8? Yes. What is, what is the cut off time? 8 Monday? So I can. One day and we wait to add this to the other of value in two minutes. Huh? Until afternoon, what does afternoon mean? 3 p.m., 7, 4 p.m., 5 p.m. Now the condition of fasting. Now this is where um, we're going to merge both the things that break fasting and the condition. It's all into one. I'll explain. Abstaining from deliberately having sexual intercourse. Again, we've defined what sexual intercourse means, right? And we spoke about this in chapter two. What's necessitate one? Also, remember? And we define sexual intercourse to be what? The touching of the male part and the lip of the female part. And we were actually more explicit because now there's people who are not that I'm not going to be explicit. But in that class, I was explicit. Gave a pair, an equivocal. The illustration of the example, what do you mean? If you want to know, you can go back to that video. So, if that the lip of the female organ, the tip of the male organ, touch, I'm not talking about penetration, I'm talking about touch, that is, that is considered in the school. Even if ejaculation was not reached, 
huge payment for that. It's going to talk about it. But I will try. But in your life, and then you reach a point of ejaculation, that is what you get past. Again, look at my wording, it's going to be because somebody can be sleeping and they can yes, in the because of my dream. So is that going to be my dream right? The first no. Why? Because it's not it's not easy. Yeah. So ejaculation from four play now. That's why we have the hadith of the Muslim. The young man came to when the old man came to right? But in the same city, a young man came to the Prophet. Ask the same question and say that, but then no. <laughs> Absolutely not. Then you know the difference. So now we have something called said the Dara'i. So I am blocking the means to right? so if the arousal is going to get me to this point, then engaging in that whole play so that's what you can because we know what the end result is going to be. That's it. Any question about that? The other thing is abstaining from making oneself vomit. Okay, from making oneself vomit. If an individual vomits, no control, they vomit. Is that going to break the fast? No. But when an individual causes themselves to vomit, they break it. Break it. Okay. But make sure that when the individual vomits, nothing goes back to the stomach. It's gross. So we're talking about it. The good grossness is like talking about it. Nothing goes back to the stomach. If somebody vomits and intentionally, but still is going to go back to the stomach. Ah. This is shopping. Every, every, everything that we study is shopping. Shopping. Right? And the book is Mental and Shopping. Shopping. Right? So we have a little bit of a data. We say that we call it professional event. We can continue. The first is our main map. Okay? Number six, now this is where we have a lot of okay? Abstaining from letting any substance enter the body cavity. What do we find about the body cavity? What is the body cavity? The body cavity is going to be the mouth. The body cavity is going to be the nose. The body cavity is going to be the ear. The body cavity is going to be so as long as I don't let anything get into the body cavity, then I am okay. The ear, the mouth, the nose, the one of the body is going to be fine. Right? Smoking. Can you break my fast? If you eat more objects, Okay, I'm not going to do the air I'm swallowing this. I'm fasting. That's what you call it. Huh? Break my fast. Why? I'm thinking the body can be. Insertion of suppositories. Perhaps near the lady, the interposition of the individual sight from the pain of anything that is going to happen. Why? Because the lady, the 
down here. I put ear drops. Now this is going out. Now the shark is so happy. So there's some school no strokes. Back my first or not? Yes. Why? Body character. Intravenous injection. Of course, we have two types of injection. Intramuscular, like diabetes, or it can be intravenous. So the intramuscular, do you back my first? No. Intravenous. Will it break my past? Yes. Nice. To finish this and they will continue. Right? This is a shot that talk about that. Is it intravenous or intravenous? So these are the things that we break our past. Anything that reaches the body cavity, that does mean insertion of something into the genital opening. Right? That is that. Intention of vomit, discuss that in late details. Intention, intention of intercourse. Intentional intercourse, ejaculation resulting from a skin contact, ejaculation, administration, postnatal bleeding, and insanity. This is the fullness of what we've covered. If there's any questions, please take them. We have one minute for Margaret, for Isha. <laughs> then Yes, sir. Right, President. Oh, 
how you would forgive them.
I don't know. 